Happy Sabbath, West Philly Seventh-day Adventist Church. It's so good to be with you. Um, it's Dr. Maya Byfield here. I'm glad to have been invited to have a, a short discussion on the death rate of black males in this country. So um, I, I thought that was an interesting dynamic. And of course, I would love to have that conversation. It's, you know, that conversation is, is well, well needed. It's well needed. Um, so when I think about the death rate, right, I think about, you know, many people are concerned with uh, just the excessive deaths through gun violence of African-Americans. Um, here's some information from the Center of Disease Control. This is the governing body that really documents all of the deaths that occur in the United States of America. And as you can see here, the U.S. gun deaths by race and gender among 20 to 29 year olds, as measured per 100,000 people, look at the disparity of gun deaths towards black men, the percentage of black men that are getting um murdered uh through gun violence is 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 very disparate and concerning look at it compared to black women compared to white men compared to white women of course there are more caucasians in the country so their limited gun deaths uh, as compared to their total population, it's going to be a drastic decrease compared to ours. We only take up 12% of the population as black people in this country, and black men are probably 6% of that. So to see their 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 death at the hand of hands of guns, and this is 10 years ago. Um, Recently, in 2020, U.S. gun deaths have shown to increase 35 percent since night since 2020. And that percentage is higher among black people. So there is a it's very concerning that our people are dying by the hands of guns. Yeah, yeah. But of course, we don't necessarily uh, purchase the I mean, excuse me, we don't um make the guns right we don't make them but somehow these guns are being purchased by us uh being funneled to our communities right and so not only once we address our personal responsibility in not purchasing guns and not allowing ourselves to kill each other we also have to ask ourselves who is funneling these guns to our community um number two in spite of those deaths being so drastic in those age ranges truthfully gun deaths aren't the major killers of black men but the leading causes of death amongst males that are non-hispanic and black since the last time we recorded this is 2018 the leading cause is heart disease not homicide, mm -hmm. heart disease, 24% heart disease, a, sh a, a short second is cancer. And, you know, I do research on prostate cancer in black males, right? Um, it's seen heavily amongst African-Americans, uh, Alzheimer's disease, stroke. Right. These are the top four. I mean, homicide comes in a good five. So, I mean, yes, we are killing each other, but only five percent of black males die or only five percent of the deaths that occur amongst black males are through homicide. So, you know, what's causing heart disease? What causes heart disease? What causes cancer? What causes Alzheimer's disease? What causes stroke? Stress. Stress causes heart disease. Stress causes cancer. Stress causes Alzheimer's and high blood pressure and stroke. What we need to do is really find out what is causing our stress. Our men are being stressed because of racism. Our men are being stressed because of the home. Our men are being stressed at the job. Our men are being stressed at church. 
Our men are being stressed through childhood trauma. It is stress that is leading to the cancers, the heart disease, definitely the Alzheimer's disease and the high blood pressure and the stroke. And so we have to ask ourselves as a people, as a nation, we need to stop stressing each other. It, the word, the tongue can be more violent than any gun. We got to stop stressing each other out at the home. We got to stop tr- stressing our children out through traumatic experiences. And we have to stop stressing each other out in our families and in our church families. Yes, there's black on black crime, but there's no tr- real black on black crime. You know that like we, the people who kill each other are the people who are in closest proximity. White people kill more white people at the same rate, like maybe 85 percent compared to 90. Right. So there's white on white crime. There's Asian on Asian crime. There's Hispanic on Hispanic crime. And there's black on black crime because we hurt those that we are the closest to. And it's not always by the gun. Sometimes it's by our tongue. So love one another. Stop stressing each other out. Church, family, family, friends, home. Take a chill pill. Good to see you guys. Happy Sabbath.